Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 13th of 2024 is titled Messier 66 Close Up. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy known as Messier 66 or M66 and is one of the a little over 100 objects observed by Charles Messier back in the 1700s looking for objects in the sky that did not look like stars through a small telescope. And we look at those Messier objects now. Some of them are nebulae gaseous clouds, some are other galaxies, and others are star clusters. So we get a variety of different types of objects there. This one happens to be a galaxy, a whole nother what was called would be called an island universe, when we considered our Milky Way to be the entire universe. And of course, now we know that there are many billions upon billions of galaxies within our own within our entire universe. Now here we see the structures of the galaxy and we're looking close up towards the center. But we can see parts of the spiral arm spiraling around and in for example that near spiral arm just below the center and at the towards the lower portion of the image we can see distinct blue star clusters. Those star clusters form within the spiral arms. Spiral arms are maintained by what we call density waves, density concentration of material and these gas clouds that are there will get compacted and then begin to form stars. Now when stars form the first stars to form are the very hottest and brightest and most massive those form faster than smaller stars like our sun. So those stars are very hot and they emit a lot of blue light and ultraviolet light. So they're going to look very blue to us. But they also don't live a very long time. So they will never leave those spiral arms. Even though they're orbiting around the center of this galaxy, they will be gone before they get out of the spiral arm in which they formed. Now you'll also notice some pinkish red regions. Those are regions of hydrogen emission. And those are also related to star formation in that they are areas where there is a lot of ultraviolet light and it's exciting leftover hydrogen gas, which then glows. Now we also see another type of nebula, the dark dust lanes within these uh, spiral arms. So the dark dust lanes are the very beginnings of star formation. So we can kind of see the progression of star formation here. The dark dust lanes are concentrations of material where stars are just starting to collapse downward from the gas clouds from which they're forming. So eventually those will become new star clusters and new hydrogen regions as we see in the spiral arm. And this will continue and progress through the galaxy. Now when we look in toward the center of the galaxy what we can't see here is the supermassive black hole at the center. And in fact we believe there is a supermassive black hole at the center of most galaxies. They can be small they can be extremely large smaller ones like the one at the center of our Milky Way is only 4 million times the mass of our sun. Others can go up to billions of times the mass of our sun. So it just depends on how much material and the size of the galaxy and perhaps the number of collisions that it's gone through over its life. So here we get to see that image of M66, a spiral galaxy, relatively nearby spiral galaxy, only about 35 million light years away from us. So that was our picture of the day for June 13th of 2024. It was titled Messier 66 Close Up. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.